All right, guys, today we're going over all the features and overview on the 22X V3. Now, this machine is designed for peak and ultim and PPSU and high temperature functional engineering grade thermoplastics. Maybe you're in aerospace and you're making parts for the inside of private jets, or maybe you're making flight critical parts for the outside of an aircraft, or maybe you're in medical. We've seen a lot of customers using this for prosthetics, or even more so the high temp materials for medical devices, and even some implants. In the automotive industry, we've seen people doing entire intake manifolds, brackets, interior parts, all kinds of stuff. In the oil and gas industry, we've made parts that go down hole on oil drilling rigs because the peak can withstand the pressures and temperatures and hydrocarbons in that environment. In the energy industry, we've seen a lot of very high voltage applications using Ultim or even in solar for brackets because they can withstand the environments outdoors for years in addition to the electrical resistance or even ESD safe materials for testing and assembly of electronics components in the semiconductor industry. There are a lot of applications in business for this machine and that is the focus of the 22 IDX. So let's go over some of the major upgrades and updates from V2 to V3. The first major update is that we've upgraded to the Duet 3 main boards. Now this gives us faster processors, more RAM, and it natively has Wi-Fi and Ethernet integrated. So if you're a DoD military customer and you can't have Wi-Fi in your facility, it's really easy now. You just remove the Wi-Fi module. Now this change has made everything more stable and more reliable by being on the latest technology and it's open source, which means you can do just about anything you want to the machine. It's not locked down like most printers out there. Next, we're gonna go inside the machine and we're gonna look at the components. So up top here, we've got dual heads. So it's an IDEX machine, independent dual extruders, which is very, very good if you wanna do multiple materials on one part, perhaps a a uh, flexible and a rigid in the same part, or maybe a unfilled material for the outside of a part to get the self-lubrication properties of a material, and the inner core could be made out of a rigid carbon fiber composite. Or maybe you wanna just use support material on one head and regular material on the other, so you can use the great soluble materials that we have out there available. Or you can print in mirror or duplicate mode, which is what we really love the printer for. It's almost like buying two printers in one because you can run both heads at the same time and literally double your throughput. So if you're doing production batches of parts that you're selling, then this is a really good option. On the tool heads themselves, we've coupled two of the best products on the market. One from Bontec, the LGX Pro extruder. So you have very consistent extrusion, very good grip, and it can handle anything from PLA to peak and even flexibles. And of course, that's coupled with the Copperhead hot end from Slice Engineering. Now this is American made, some of the best engineering and machining that we've seen out of any company, and this gives you consistent extrusion. It's really, really important that you lock down these areas of the machine, because any machine can extrude plastic. But if the extruder and the nozzle are a bottleneck, then you're not gonna get the highest quality or throughput that you could. And that's why we went with two of the top, highest quality companies on the market today. Next, it's important to look at what's driving these heads around the build volume. For that, we've used linear rails, coupled with 12 millimeter Kevlar high temp gates belts. Now these are all driven by nine motors, two on the extruders, but then three on the Z axis, which I'll talk about in a second, and four driving the X and the Y. Now this is not a core X, Y, or an H bot design. A lot of people have asked, and it is actually a completely unique design to us developed in house. Next, let's look at the build platform and the build volume. In this machine, you get about 14 by 14 by 17, a little bit more, it's really 350 by 350 by 450 millimeters. And on that, you get a carbon fiber build plate. Now this is a very special type of carbon fiber and resin that we've developed over the last five years. And so it's designed to handle the ultra high temperatures we're pushing this machine to. So the build platform itself goes to 200 Celsius, meaning it'll keep any thermoplastics stuck to the bed when you're doing those larger parts that really need the extra heat to keep them relaxed and successfully print them. 
Now the build volume itself is also actively heated by a heater down in the back corner and a circulation fan, and that will go up to 100C. So that is good enough to get you a lot of parts in high temperature materials like Peak and Ultim up to a certain size, as well as incredible full build volume parts in things like nylon, polycarbonate, and other composite materials. Now, let's talk about the build platform. This is where some of the new stuff really comes in. The biggest thing about this V3 is actually the auto self calibration. Now, when you unbox the machine, take it out, plug it in, and connect to Wi-Fi, you'll press one button, auto calibrate, and that's gonna take care of the X, Y offsets, the Z offset, as well as the bed leveling. Next, let's talk about the build platform itself. Now, this platform is set to go up to 200 Celsius, which means it's good for any thermoplastic that's currently on the 3D printing market, and it's driven by three Z-axis motors. Now, what this does is it gives us the ability to level the bed mechanically while at elevated temperatures. Now, this is one of the big things over the years. You're reaching in, you're having to manually level these build plates and everything. You're burning yourself, you're getting in there, you're trying to reach in and it was just a pain. So a big, huge point about this whole machine is that it's mechanically self-leveling in addition to being mesh bed leveled by the probe that we have in here, right here in the back. Now, just for demonstration purposes, you can see the bed is extremely skewed and I'm just gonna hit home all and show you exactly how this works. All right, so as you can see, the bed went up and it completely mechanically leveled itself. Amazing feature, especially if the machine's 100 Celsius inside and you don't wanna to have to reach your hands in there. Furthermore, one of the biggest new things about the V3, not only does it come standard with the carbon fiber build plate, but you'll notice underneath on the actual build platform, there's a square cutout. Now this is designed so that the tool heads can come and basically drop themselves into the hole and touch off all four sides. It gets your Z offset, it gets your XY tool head offset completely automatically. Now, if you've ever used an IDEX machine, you know how painful it can be to try and calibrate the two heads to be perfectly matched with each other. Now, this is really important if you're doing multi-material prints. It's a little bit less important for support material, but this new process makes it an absolute breeze and right out of the box. It's very, very good automation and ease of use. The customer experience is really what we focused on with this machine. So in addition to those improvements, we've really focused on dialing in the firmware and making the whole process more refined, more directed. So you can take somebody with less experience and they will have a good, easy time with the machine straight out of the box. Now there's been a lot of different things that we've improved upon, but the basic features of this machine still hold true. One of the big things is the material holders inside the machine. Now there's a big reason for this, and that is when you're printing in high temperature materials, they really need to stay dry. You probably know about drying filament, but when you get into the Ultims and the Peaks and the PPSUs, it's a whole nother game. You gotta make sure they're totally dry before you melt them and create a part out of them because it'll totally ruin your part. So, We've got the material spools mounted inside the heated chamber, which effectively keeps them dry during the duration of your print. Now, as mentioned, we're running on the Duet interface. So uh, you can use any kind of phone, tablet, or PC to control the machine. I can simply go here, send the bed down a little bit if I want, or maybe I want to uh, you know, send the left head over. Let's send it, uh, let's take it to the middle. And if you do want a screen on the machine, it's really easy. You can just use anything with a magnet. Now, there's a lot of little usability features just from our day in, day out, using these machines in our own shop, as well as suggestions from our customers in the field. One of those features you'll notice here is actually these guardrails, and they just help to keep the wire chains inside out of the way of the lid, and it just makes it all a little bit more refined. Now, I'm extremely happy to announce that at the release of this video, we have plenty of these machines in stock. We really wanted to make sure we didn't have all the back orders and wait lists like we did the last few years on these machines because they've been so popular. So make sure if you're interested, give us a call, shoot us an email, and get your 22 IDX V3 ordered today. 
Now, as you may have heard, this is a non-planar ready machine. It is effectively five axis with the amount of articulation that we get on the bed. Now the software for that is in development and we'll see that in the future, but I just wanna show you here real quick exactly how much actuation we get on this machine. As it's moving here, you'll see, this will actually go to angles that are enough to do a 90 degree overhang with zero supports. So with this degree of articulation, we can literally print 90 degree overhangs flat up and 90 degrees out without any supports whatsoever. So if you're interested in a machine, definitely give us a call or shoot us an email and get your machine ordered today. Now, one of the biggest cornerstones here at Vision Miner is customer success. If you're not successful with the machine, we're not successful as a business. So it's a huge priority for us to make sure you're having a good time with the machine. And that's why we continually create new content, new support videos, new videos on how to print Ultim and Peak and how to tune in these material materials materials and dial in these materials and really give you the resources you need to be successful in your 3D printing business. At Vision Miner, we specialize in high temperature materials like Peak and Ultim, and that's all we do on open material machines like this. So reach out today. We're just a phone call away. We're here to help you determine the right machine and even the right materials and right methodologies for your business and your products. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.